This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. When you're working in Microsoft Excel, sometimes you need to open files that are not Excel files. So you just open them. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. I'm just in an empty plain old spreadsheet, nothing here, nothing fancy, but I want to open a comma delimited file, or maybe it's space, you know, I'm not sure how it's delimited, but it's a delimited file. Now the reason that I'm not sure is because I'll know when I get it open. What I need to know though is that delimited means separated by something. So here's what happens. When you have a comma or space or some form of delimited file, whatever is in column A is separated by something, a space, a comma, a semicolon, from what's in column B and C and D and so on and so forth. So that's why they refer to it as delimited. You can open delimited files. Actually, you can try to open anything. It'll either work or it won't. So let's take a look at how to open a delimited file. So I'm going to go to the backstage by clicking on the file tab and I want to open. And the place where this is stored is on my SkyDrive. So I'm going to ch choose my SkyDrive and then click on Browse. And when I get out into my SkyDrive, it's in my Documents folder. And once I get to my Documents folder, it's in the Advanced folder. And I think it's in Managing Data. You know, I might have to go searching just a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it's here in the Managing Data file. And the reason I said I'll have to go looking is I doubt that I'll be able to see it. And here's the reason that I doubt I'll be able to see it is because currently I'm only looking for Excel files and this is not an Excel file. So let's drop the arrow down here and choose what type of file it is or all. Sometimes it's easier to simply say all files because then you can go through and look and find anything that might be stored. There it is, the tab delimited Excel file for class example and it's a .txt file. So now I remember that it is tab delimited. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say open. And when I open it, it'll either open, or you'll get one of these dialog boxes, or you'll get a message that says, beep, sorry, you can't open that type of a file in Excel. But luckily, I have the text import wizard, and so I'm just going to step through the import wizard to open this file. Now, I know it's delimited, so I have the delimited radio button selected. My data does or does not have headers. If my data has headers, I check the box here for headers. You can always come back and change it if you guessed improperly. And then I'll click on Next, and I'll go to Next. And what I discover here is, I'm not sure if those are headers or not, but if I did it wrong, we'll be able to go back in and fix it after the fact. Or I could click on Back and say, no, my data doesn't have headers, and go to Next. And you see, I can't see it. I can't visually see it here, so I'm not sure because I haven't opened it in Excel yet. Now, the delimiters. Look, if it's not a tab delimited file, it would look like this on the screen. So if I say space delimited, see it didn't change. That data just all ran together. All the columns are just chunked together. That's why I said earlier that even if I can't remember what kind of a file it is, not to worry, because once I get the proper item here, the columns show up. Now the only time where this might be a difficulty is if the delimiter is something else. For instance, the Enya mark on the keyboard could be a delimiter. Oh, I wouldn't, how would I guess that? I wouldn't guess that. But I do know that this one's tab delimited, so I'll choose the tab delimited and I'm going to stop there. Now, treat consecutive delimiters as one. That means is there if there are empty spaces, it would just ignore those spaces. I don't want to do that. If there's an empty space, it's there because there's an empty cell. So I'm just leaving that for sure. And then we'll click on Next. And once we go to Next, each column that you click on, see as I'm clicking on a column, it highlights it black with white words. That simply allows me to determine what type of data is in each column. So if I wanted to, I could go through and say, well, this is text, this is date, or, ooh, don't even import this. I don't need that particular column. I'm just going to leave everything as general because general will work fine for this particular wizard. So I'm, I'm not stressing about it. 
Now notice there's also an advanced button. And so it, as you're working through, if there's something that you cannot find, check out these extra buttons. Sometimes though, they just give you a little more information than you need. For instance, here, I don't need to worry about the decimal separator and the thousand separator, because those are accurate. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose cancel, because I don't need that. And then I'm done. That's step three of the wizard. So I simply click on finish and I wait, Ta da I wait for it to import. So I have one little thing here that I don't like, and that is sales and rep. I think that's supposed to be all in one cell, and the rep has this double quote at the end, but would you agree that's a very, very minor thing? Let's zoom out so you can see this a little bit better. And as you can see, I think everything came in the way that I expected it to come in. Now, no formatting will come along with it. So if the original data that was stored had a format to it, the formatting disappears when you store it as a, a TXT file. And also look at my tab name, tab delimited Excel file for, and it kept trying to give the whole name, but it ran out of space. And look at my file name, tab delimited Excel file for class example. So it automatically named it as well. If that's not the name I want, you know what to do. You just do a file, save as, I want to save it on my SkyDrive, I want to save it in the current folder. That's accurate. I do not want it to be tab delimited anymore. Now I want to save it as an Excel workbook. And we're going to call this 1.1 imported. Oh, it wasn't an Excel file, was it? Imported, well, I can't spell and talk. Let me see if I can do that better. There we go. Imported delimited file, and I'll hit save. So now I've saved it as an Excel file change the title on the title bar, and all it's good to go. So as you can see, if you want to open a file that's not Excel, give it a shot. You might get the wizard and be able to go through the wizard. Hey, it might just open up on the screen, and at the worst case, it's going to give you an error message saying that you're not able to open it. But give it a shot, because many, many things are able to be compatible with Excel 2013. It's time to pause for a pop quiz question. When importing data into Excel, what might happen? A, a dialog box opens to ask questions preparing the data for import. B, the Save As dialog box will be present on the screen. C, the data must be properly formatted as text or will not import. D, nothing. Most of the time there are errors associated with this task, so avoid it. The correct answer, A. A dialog box opens to ask questions preparing the data for import every time you import data into Excel. So answer the questions, click Finish, and your data will now be in Excel. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.